I'm not sure where to begin. But, um, I don't know. Um, <coughs> well, I'll start off by saying that recovery isn't easy whatsoever. And that I'm struggling a lot. This is currently my third week at Imani. And it only seems to be getting harder and harder. <coughs> like my eating disorder is getting meaner and meaner and it's only yelling louder and louder and um, it's gotten to the point where I just feel very, I guess, depressed almost. Like, my stomach hurts, um, I guess, from inter internal stress or just genuine sadness. And I have this numb, empty feeling, like, constantly. And I don't have any appetite, but I do have to finish my food or otherwise I'm not allowed to leave the table. But it's really hard and um, I would be lying if I wouldn't say that I'm not and I would be lying if I would say that I'm not struggling <laughs> that's what I meant to say because um, I am struggling a lot and like I'm constantly wondering like why am I here what am I doing all this for like, is it even going to work? Am I even going to recover? Because back at home, I've tried to recover by myself so many times, in so many ways, so many methods. I've watched so many recovery videos on YouTube, and I always fall back. And it's just so terrifying. It's so terrifying. And I just feel, yeah, hopeless and kind of in despair. Like, I'm just sitting with my hands in my hair, like, thinking to myself, like, God, why did, I, why did I end up here? Like, what am I doing here? I need to go home. It's not going to help me anyway. But I also know damn well that if I do go home now, then that everything would have been for nothing. The money, the flight, the anxiety, stuff like that. And it's especially moments like these where I have to try and stay strong. But then again, it's also especially moments like these where it's really hard to stay strong. Like, it's hard to stay couraged and... <coughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what to say, but <coughs> like I'm trying, I'm trying my best. And some days I feel more positive and uplifted, and some days it just all falls down. And the funny thing is that in my first week, I I was doing okay. Like, yeah, I was sad because I was feeling homesick. But, um, you know, I had the courage. I, like, I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, let's do this. Like, this is what I'm here for. Like, come on, let's go. We can do this. And... Now I'm just constantly doubting myself. I constantly think to myself like is this gonna be worth anything? Like can I even recover? Like why 
So. <laughs> like, will I go home feeling better? Will I go home feeling prepared with healthier coping mechanisms? I don't know. And in moments like this, I wish I could just look into the future and hold on to that. For right now, I don't really have much to hold on to except for the fact that I, you know, except for the fact that I don't want to, you know, I don't know. Like, I guess I could say relapse again, but the thing is, I'm not even in recovery yet. Like, I know damn well that my eating disorder still has me in its tight grasp. And I don't know. Like, I'm just afraid it's never going to let me go. And then if it's going to let me go, then who am I without my eating disorder? I don't know. It's terrifying. It's terrifying to let go or to having to let go of all things that felt safe, of all things that felt like you had control of them. I'm so tired.